Good morning. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate this Mass for the intention of John Butner, the deceased. And I would like also to celebrate this Mass for our family members, especially for those who are sick in the hospitals, at homes, and also in their nursing home. And for those who are preparing maybe for surgery for the near future, so that God may continue to guide them and give them strength and healing. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, Raised up, we pray, to the author of our salvation, who is seated at your right hand, so that when our Savior comes again in majesty, those who have given new birth and baptism may be clothed with blessed immortality. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day, I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but Paul has claimed that he is alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorio, the Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord, the Lord has, has established his throne, throne in heaven. heaven. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord, the Lord has, has established his throne, throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The, the Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you angels, and you mighty in strength who do his bidding. The, the Lord, Lord has, has established his throne in heaven. Father, you bless you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go and proclaim the good news. Thank you. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, 
He said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you. When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Dear friends, I was asking myself to go through and see the life of St. Paul before he was converted and after his conversion. I see it's like a two wings, one and the other. Before he was converted, he was persecuted the Church of Christ the followers of Jesus Christ. But once he was converted, he changed it completely and be faithful to be the follower of Jesus. What does it mean to us? Paul teaches us that life of following Jesus is not an easy task. It's really the gift, the sacrifice, the love, the commitment with perseverance and endurance. And that's why in the gospel today, Jesus is asking Peter three times, Peter, do you really love me? And Peter said, yes, Lord. Today, on behalf of St. Peter, Jesus is asking us also, you, Father Daniel, and the whole community of the Church of Ascension, do you really love me? What is our answer? Peter said, yes, Lord, I love you. But Jesus continued to ask us on the second time, Father Daniel and the people of the Church of Ascension, do you really love me? Maybe that is the time of this pandemic. He's asking us, what is our response? Peter is telling us, Jesus, Lord, I love you. And now again, he's asking for the third time. Maybe that is the time maybe we are really vulnerable. We have come to a point and say, where are you, Jesus? But Peter is reminding us today, his answer is always, yes, Lord, I love you. Dear friends, today, I'd like just to bring you to your memory that Jesus loves us. Even at the time when we begin this time of the pandemic, we were really vulnerable. We have put our faith in challenge. And we are even asking, how are we going to manage? But still, his message is always, is asking us, do you really love me? And our response is always, yes, Lord, we love you. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we are preparing ourselves for the reopening, our message is always, we love Jesus. We love Lord. Give us courage as you did to St. Paul. Give us courage as you did to your disciples. And give us courage as you give us at the time we are, when we were struggling. When we keep our faith steady and we open ourselves and join hands together, we know we are not alone. He is always with us. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us continue to keep our faith steady and to remember 
Jesus will not separate us in his love and his mercy. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, as we continue to thank God for the gift of faith and for the gift of love, he always gives us what we have and what we need. As we continue to share what we have with our brothers and sisters, I want to extend my thanks for all you are doing it to support our parish and to support our social ministry, but also to support our ministries and even live streaming mass. Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will come our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you. Let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse to our consciences, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just to our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, ever land and ever people exalts in your praise, and even the f heavenly father, powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his portion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this, this bread and drink, and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mary our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant John Butner, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace, and we ask if you're watching to please send peace to those uh, in the chat box. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
When the spirit of truth comes, he will teach you all truth, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant we pray that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Deacon Gary, I would like to thank you for your participation and for you, your prayers. And for those who will be able to come tomorrow for the celebration here in our church, you are most welcome. And for those who will be remaining at home, we'll be together on the live streaming mass. And I would like to say that we are family, and let us continue to be united with the love of Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.